Hi, this is just a quick video to show you how to format your large hard drive, um, anything over 32 gigabytes really, uh, from NTFS to FAT32. The reason we're going to go through this is just um, there are some satellite receivers that can only read FAT32 drives. So if you want to use the PVR facilities like the recording or the pause and rewind, it needs to be FAT32. Now, most of them actually um, are fine to work with NTFS, but just in case that you need to use a, a FAT32, this is to show you how it's done, okay? Right, basically in in Windows anyway, you can see here if you go into my computer and you just highlight the drive here, uh, which is the H drive in this case, uh, you can see some information about the drive itself, okay? And you can see now that this is NTFS. So what we want to try and do is uh, format that to FAT32, okay? Now, within Windows itself, uh, you can do a thing uh, where you can format it like that and basically you know you can format or wipe the hard drive which is grand but you cannot format anything over 32 gigabytes using this method in Windows okay so we have to come up with a different solution Th uh, I'm just going to shut this window here now there is another method you can use using a DOS prompt uh, which is a little bit more involved it's outlined on the website it does take a long time to complete because it actually um, does a full uh, format on the drive rather than a quick one. So this video here now is going to show you basically how to do a quick format to FAT32, okay? So I've already opened up this program here um, called CompuApp Swiss Knife and it's version 3, okay? This can be downloaded from the internet. If you go somewhere like uh, download.com, uh, you can download uh, Swiss Knife and you can get the free version here and this will enable you to um, to format your drive to FAT32 fairly easily, okay? So when it opens up, it'll open up something like this, uh, as you can see here on the screen, and give you some basic information about your drives and things like this. You can see here that the primary master is already highlighted, and that's your C drive and NTFS. Now, you do not want to format that, I can assure you. Um, that's basically your own machine, and you'll lose all your files. And in fact, I don't think the program would even allow you to do it. So what we want to do, I've already got a USB... Uh, external hard drive plugged in and this is if you go down here you can see it here you can see it's the H drive as I showed earlier and the file system is NTFS okay and there's just some generic information about the drive there uh, you can see yourself okay so what you want to do now is go over to partition and quick format okay and click on it okay and you want to make sure that it's your correct drive here which was the USB host adapter one you can see it's the right drive there okay <coughs> So what you want to do is you want to highlight the drive itself and you want to go delete. This is just going to delete um, delete whatever's on it and it'll just, um, you'll see it yourself anyway, okay? So we just want to delete. Are you sure you want to delete the selected partition? Yes, okay? So that brings it down. You can see you've just, it's all free space. <coughs> There's no partition on it at the moment and that's fine. So we're just going to change the volume label, which is just what the drive is called. I'm just going to call it my drive. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to set the partition to FAT32, or the file system to FAT32, I should say. You do not want to make the partition active. That, that would be if you just wanted to use your drive or your hard drive as a boot device, but you do not want to do this in, uh, under these circumstances, okay? So you can leave that unticked, and it's a primary partition type, okay? And you'll see here format type, it's a hard drive format, but that'll be ticked by default, okay? So what you want to do when you've all that set then, just follow the mouse and go down and create. So you'll see this is fairly rapid now. Um, it takes a very short amount of time. And once it's done then, you'll see up here, the, it's the primary drive, the volume label has changed to my drive, and the file system is FAT32, and the sta status is, it's been formatted, okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to kill this window, okay, by clicking the red X here. And you can see now in my computer there, I'm just going to refresh and it doesn't show up which is fine okay but it just comes back here now and after you refresh and you can see it's now a fat 32 and that's basically it. and the reverse is true also you can actually do the same to convert from fat 32 to ntfs although in this case if you did it and um, you could use windows to do it this time you can go format you can go quick format and format to ntfs and just 
yeah it'll erase all data you can go and that'll do it very quickly for you and it'll turn it back into ntfs for you and that's it basically from beginning to end how to format a large hard drive anything over 32 gigabytes from uh, ntfs to fat32 and back again okay and you can see there actually now it's changed back to ntfs after, after i format it okay